A collective goal of ensuring St. Lucia's education sector sustains safe and efficient function has prompted discussions between the National Principals Association, NPA, and the Ministry of Education on the ideal path toward further improving operation. The meeting led by Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward, brought together top ministry officials and the NPA's new leadership to discuss pressing challenges in schools across the island and solutions structured to address them. School security continues to be a very topical issue in the realm of education and the president, Mr. Neil Fontenelle, raised a few concerns. And I was also very happy to report that um, the Prime Minister and the Ministry of Finance have given the Ministry of Education additional resources to bolster school security. So I, I spoke about the installation of cameras that has started that is continuing. For the very first time, we're looking at the installation of alarm systems. Um, we have totally reviewed the personnel we recruit as security officers in schools. And we also looking at as part of the whole school safety and security apparatus to ensure that schools resort to drills and simulation exercises in the event that we are confronted by disasters with a view to minimizing injuries and, and, and loss of life. So I think it was a very, very cordial meeting and I'm looking forward to working with principals as the school year continues to unfold. Maintaining safe school environments remains a key priority for the government of St. Lucia. Initiating dialogue with the National Principals Association within each school term, Minister Edwards says, remains an established standard. President Neil Fontenelle described discussions as significant and presenting an opportunity to highlight areas of concern for school administrators. As the minister uh, indicated, this is really a partnership uh, between principals and the, mini the ministry's hierarchy. So moving forward, um, in the interest of the education system, it is very important that we maintain that sort of collaborative relationship among ourselves. So I think all in all, it was a very beneficial discussion on both sides. With the NPA charged with representing the most senior school administrators island-wide, the organization has expressed a commitment to working in tandem with national policymakers. According to Vice President Donna Peter Joseph, recent talks have inspired the hope that plans discussed can be brought to fruition. It was essentially to end the grievances of the various principals around the island, what affects the schools individually, and what affects our schools holistically. So the meeting was held with the minister and other heads of the education department, including the chief education officer. Um, I think I could say generally the meeting was a very fruitful one. We were able to speak to whatever affects the principals and we got some positive feedback from the minister as well as the chief education officer. The meeting between the executive of the National Principals Association and officials of the Ministry of Education marks the beginning of engagements aimed at strengthening the partnership between both entities. Maintaining dialogue is expected to assist in ensuring meaningful progress in enhancing educational environments for both students and staff. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium.